Hey guys, and welcome to another video on how I use the iPad Pro. And this of course also works on an iPad Air or on your iPhone even, but I show it on the iPad Pro. Now, as mentioned before, one of the reasons we bought the iPad Pro is for the real estate and the speed while traveling, editing videos, doing pre-work in Lightroom Mobile. Now, I already showed you a video with iMovie on the iPad Pro. I wanna show you now how Adobe Premiere Clip looks on the iPad Pro. Now, one of the things that I love about Premiere Clip is you have a lot of freedom in editing your images. I like iMovie, but Premiere Clip goes even further. Now, let's start a new project and let's start on my iPad. Now, one of the things that I don't like so much about iMovie is every single clip you want to import, you have to do one clip import, one clip import, one, and that can be very tedious, especially if you have a lot of clips. Now, in Premiere Clip, it works like this. You just press the clips. There you go, and you just press add. And now you have two options, automatic or freeform. Now let's say freeform. Now what you see is that we now have the clips here. I can press play, and actually my clip starts to play. And it has hard cuts at the moment. So let's say that you want it differently. You just go into your settings, and you can just say fade from black, fade out to black, and crossfade. And of course you can use photo motions. You can also change the look of your image, let's say a noir or 6am or bright. They are very creative with, with their settings. Okay, the other thing you can of course do is if you double click on your clip, you can actually change the exposure, you can change your highlights, shadows, and what some more. And of course you can do the same thing for audio. You can rearrange your clips by just holding it and just rearrange it within your timeline. Go. And again, a simple double click just gives you all the options you want. Here you have audio. So you can play your audio, you can change the volume with smart volume. So if the volume is on, all the audio in this clip will be increased to a consistent volume, fade in, fade out. Uh, you can change the duration, and of course, you can duplicate and split at the playhead. So you have pretty much a lot of options to work with. And of course, in the end, you can publish and share the video, save to the camera roll. Edit in Premiere Pro if you want more options. And of course, you can publish straight to YouTube. This is interesting, right? Now watch this. If you really want to save time and you're really like, I don't want to edit, but I want something that looks really cool. You press this on my iPad. You go to your camera roll. You select some images. Uh, sorry, some videos. There we go. And you press add. And now you do automatic. Now what it does, it will choose a soundtrack. Of course you can later change that soundtrack. Uh, you can change the pace and you can change the sequence. There we go. Now, as soon as I press play, it will automatically edit your clip into something that's spectacular. So it will do it on the beat of the music. You don't hear the music now because I'm doing the voiceover and with the recording, it somehow doesn't, doesn't record the audio from the iPad Pro. But it's, it looks pretty cool. You, you can, of course, change the pace. Let's say I want it a little bit slower. This was a little bit fast. And it will do it literally on the beat of your music. So this is a really cool option if you don't want to spend a lot of time editing. And, of course, in the end, you can still publish and share, edit in Premiere Pro if you want to fine-tune everything, save to your camera roll, or publish it straight to YouTube. So this is another option to do video editing on the move with your iPad, iPhone or iPad Pro using Adobe Premiere Clip, which I actually, if I want to do a little bit more, prefer above iMovie. So thank you very much for watching and we'll see you next time.